looking after the young in such a way is thought to be the first step towards living in a community. But some insects benefit from doing the opposite of collaborating. They kill one another. Dawson's bee is one of the largest in the world. It nests in the baked soil of the Australian outback. Flowers are rare in this desert, so colonies of these bees are few and far between. The bees excavate tunnels for their young. The community is so harmonious that it's hard to believe that this place is also the setting for mass murder. Tempers do flare when a bee gets confused and goes down another's burrow, but these are minor disagreements. The colony is peaceful at the moment because every bee here is a female. It's the males that are the killers, and they are all dead. Their story began two months earlier, before the appearance of the females. Male Dawson's bees. The females are only just emerging, burrowing their way one by one out of the tunnels where they hatched and grew up, and their scent inflames the males. They are huge and built for fighting. And each one wants to be in the best position to mate with a female. emerges and immediately there's a brawl as every male tries to reach her. It's very rare for animals to kill their own kind in combat, but stinging and biting rivals to death is usually the only way these male bees get a female. manages to claim a female, and the pair race for cover. Meanwhile, the female's lingering scent drives one unsuccessful male into a deadly frenzy. Another female, caught in the middle of another brawl, becomes an accidental casualty. By the time the last female has emerged, every male is dead. The battles have ensured that the strongest males will have mated with the most females. Two months later, and it's an all-female world with the next generation already developing underground.